today we're going to look at similar right triangles. What I, what I, the reason why I call it similar right triangles in plural is because in here, in this picture, we have three triangles, three right triangles. So a matter of fact, let me draw three right triangles to begin with. From the three triangles, two of them, I know two sides. From the three of them, two of them, I know two sides. And one of them, I only know one side. I'll explain that in a minute right now. Here, before I look at my triangles, I notice the whole thing is 100. Because it's saying the whole thing is 100. Part of it is 36. So I'm going to say the other part is 64. Right? Because 100 minus 36 is 64. So I know that side is 64. So if I look at the small triangle, when I say it's small triangle, I'm looking at this triangle. I notice from the small, from each triangle, it has a small side, a medium side, and a hypotenuse. It says the small side is 36. The medium side is X. And I don't know anything about the hypotenuse, right? I don't know how big the hypotenuse is. Okay, so if I, that's the first triangle that I looked at. My second triangle, it's my medium triangle, and that is this one here. So I'm going to shade it so you guys see which one I'm talking about. It says that this side, if you see there's an X, the small side is X. So I'm just going to put it there. The medium side is 64. And I have no idea how big is the high part. So I'm not going to write anything. Now, the third triangle is the big triangle. And what I mean by big triangle is there's a small side, there's a medium side, and then there's the hypotenuse. All I know from this triangle is that the hypotenuse is 100. I don't know the small side, and I don't know the medium side. Remember I said from the three triangles, two of them, I know two sides. One of them, I only know one side. And you're only going to use the two where you know two sides. They're, they're similar, because that's why we call it similar right triangles. So from the information that I have here, this 36 is equal to x. I notice my 36 on the other triangle becomes x, and I notice that x becomes 64. So I'm going to simplify if I could. In this case, we cannot, because I cannot go up and down or sideways. There's no way I can simplify, so I'm going to cross multiply. X times X, that's X squared. 64 times 36. I'm going to use a calculator for that. 64 times 36, I get 2,304. I know they're big numbers, but we have calculators, so that's fine. Now, to get rid of the squared, let me do the square root on each side. I'm going to get x equals the square root of 2304 is 48. So x equals 48. Right now, I know it looks like mumbo jumbo. Right now, this question looks like really hard. But let me do another example. All you really need is two triangles where you know two sides. This is the other triangle here. I'm going to call this side x minus 9. I might need it. I might not. I don't know. Because remember, the whole thing was x. I'm taking away 9, so x minus 9. So once again, you only need two triangles where you can see two sides. I'm going to use the small triangle. I'm going to use this little triangle. The small side is 9. The hypotenuse is 15. So I'm going to use that. Another triangle I'm going to use is the big one. I can tell the small side is 15, and I know the hypotenuse, which is the entire side, is x. So the small side is 15, the hypotenuse is x. Once again, all you need are the two triangles where you know two sides. So for my first triangle, I'm just going to write 15 equals x. I notice that 15 becomes 9, and x becomes 15. In this case, I can simplify. First, side to side. 15 over 9, let me divide each by 3. So that is 5 over 3. Then sideways, 3 and 15, 
let me divide each by 3. That is 1 and 5. Now when we cross multiply, x times 1, 5 times 5, x equals 25. Once again, you need two triangles where you know two sides of each triangle. Follow this example look a little bit easier because we're kind of getting the idea now. Let's take a look at this one. Here, I know this triangle. If you guys flip it and wrote, you know, slide it and all the stuff, the small side is 48, the big side is 64. Then if you look at the small triangle, one side is 48, we can see it, and I'm going to say this other side here it is x minus 64. So I have the small side is x minus 64, and the other side is 48. Probably x minus 64 is not as nice as I would like it, but it's what I have. So the things that the way I'm going to write this, I'm going to say 48 equals 64. I notice that my 48 becomes x minus 64, and my 64 becomes 48. Simplify if we can. The only way we cannot simplify is diagonal. That's the only way we cannot simplify. So 48 and 64. We can divide each product by six. We're going to divide by six. By eight. All right, we divide by eight. This is six. This is eight. That's how we can do better. Let's divide by two. Let me use red so we can easily see it. Let me divide each by two. So this is three. This is four. Now, up and down, we can simplify as well. I'm going to use green for that one. 4 and 48, let me divide each by 4. 1 over 12. Now when I cross multiply, 1, the number by itself, make sure you multiply it to both. So 1 times x minus 1 times 64 equals, here I go 12 times 3. So now my minus 64, let me move it as plus 64, so I get x equals 100. Once again, you need two triangles where you know two sides per triangle. In the figure, there are three triangles. Notice how this one I used, this black one, this one right here, I used the red one. But notice I also have the big triangle, the combined one. I didn't use the big triangle because I only know one side of the big triangle. You want to use the two triangles where you know two sides. One more example. Here, I'm going to call this side 16. If the whole thing was 25, part of it is 9, the other part is 16. I might use the 16, I might not use it. I'm just writing it because we can write it. So the first triangle I'm going to use is the little triangle, the short side is 9, the hypotenuse is x. So there's 9, and there's x. I know the triangle one I'm going to use, remember looking for a triangle where you know two sides. I'm going to use the big triangle. Because the short side is x, and the hypotenuse is 25. I said that 16, we probably were going to use it or not. In this case, we're not. I just wrote it just in case we needed to use it. So I'm going to write 9 equals x, right from the first one. Under the 9, I'm going to write an x. Under the x, I'm going to write a 25. I cannot simplify. I'm just going to have to cross multiply. x times x. 25 times 9, that is... 25. The way you get rid of the squared, you do the square root. The square root of 225 is 15. So, once again, 
you need two triangles where you know two sides per triangle. Any questions? 